Hello, um, my name is Richard Freitag, uh, working for SUNET, like Mickey Nodin, uh, who presented earlier. And uh, I am going to take you on a little journey about uh, continuous uh, testing at a global scale. But first, about SUNET, it's the Swedish University Computer Network. Uh, they uh, provide a lot of network infrastructure and cloud-based services uh, for Sweden. They have 8,400 kilometers of fiber. Uh, so they like to dig their trenches and uh, put in uh, fiber cables. They serve about uh, 750,000 users among uh, 110 organizations. Um, but sometimes you get uh, the opportunity to, to build something. So we built a system for uh, scientists and uh, so you need to model your system. It's a bit of background information on why we do uh, what we do. So you have your uh, system modeled where you have all the parameters uh, of the uh, scientific life cycle. Um, and uh, build your system where you store your data, uh, have your lifecycle management, and you actually also have to face the reality of every scientific project because the money adds at a certain point. So you build your system in a way that the universities can lifecycle handle uh, their research data even after the project funding uh, has run out. So with this model in mind, you start building. And uh, you start building not small, you start building big. You build at a global scale. As Mika already said earlier, we have 54 Nextcloud nodes, one for every Swedish university, pre-built. They can just log on, provision their user account, and use the system. And we use S3 buckets as the storage um, entity for handling the research data. So that gives you a bit of a context of the size uh, of uh, the system that we have. But then uh, the scientific reality again is uh, you need to collect data. You define your primary data sources, save everything into the storage, as I said, we use S3. And then you have the secure storage with Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, iOS, Apple, uh, command line clients, um, anything uh, that uh, you need. Once you have that system, you start expanding. So your system becomes bigger and bigger. You don't want to only uh, store your files, you want to analyze your data, and you want to publish your data. So you integrate all the apps. Once you have that expansion, you start asking yourself, does it actually work? all the time. And this is where the testing comes uh, into, uh, into place. So you start writing your tests. You have your small unit test, acceptance test, uh, just to see if things actually work. Once you have written your test, you start testing system systematically, because that's the purpose of testing, right? So you have manual testing, automatic testing, and on-demand testing, uh, automated testing, and you hope that uh, your automated testing will, be, will cover uh, anything. So you start with the acceptance testing, you have capabilities, status and versions, user lifecycle handling, file handling, uh, write tests for all of those. You do Selenium testing for node login, including uh, two-factor authentication, and so on. Collabora testing takes a lot of time, uh, but we do it all the time to make sure that the Collabora works. And we occasionally do some load testing and uh, have tested with uh, up to 6,000 users. Once you do that, you test automatically. So you start building your Jenkins, you have your worker nodes, and everything uh, will be executed uh, all the time. Um, so you, uh, once you have done that, you start using pipelines because you realize, oh, this is actually a lot. I don't want to click on start test uh, if you do on-demand testing. So you have your pipeline where you trigger all your tests for all nodes all the time, and you get this nice matrix view about the status of your system. And in the end, you test a lot. So we have 45 tests. We create around 23,000 test points, test results every single day. It's about 1,000 test points per customer uh, per day. Uh, but the goal is to extend this uh, to have even more tests in the end. And you keep the developers busy. This is from our uh, Nextcloud support queue. So we write a lot of tickets. We find issues, we solve issues. And yeah, people are smiling at me because they might realize some of the tickets we've created. And in the end, you help making Nextcloud a better product by having this type of test automation. Thank you.